Okay, a new discovery and a new warning here. So I discovered the holy shaft right there on the Giza Plateau. And so it's the center of a circle that's 504 ancient cubits, okay? So when you square that, a side of the square is 792.0 ancient cubits, okay? The Great Pyramid has as a side 7920 inches, okay? And if you take Stonehenge, that outer circle there, when squared, gives a side of 79.20 feet, okay? So it's interesting that planet Earth as a diameter has 7,920 mile diameter, okay? So you've got this connection. In Stonehenge, it's in feet. In the Great Pyramid, it's in inches. In the Holy Circle, it's in cubits. And on the Earth, it's in miles. Plainly, the ancients knew the dimensions of the Earth. And the center of my holy circle there, that holy shaft, is the, is the center of this knowledge, okay? So keep that in mind. So a new discovery by Will Wire that the three diamonds in the Vitruvian Man right there represent the three belt stars of Orion. Okay, so we want to see how that could be. Let's look at that, okay? So you can see in the, in the upper part of the screen the way that the Great Pyramid is meant to be laid out over the Vitruvian Man. That's been shown in other videos, okay? So what we're doing now is showing that on the Giza Plateau, there's a five times Great Pyramid. If you go from the center of Khufu, the Great Pyramid, to the center of Menkari, and then form the angles of the Great Pyramid, you have there something that's five times the size of the Great Pyramid on the Giza Plateau. So this is the way you'd place the Vitruvian Man over that Great Pyramid, the five times Great Pyramid, okay? And so what we want to do is see what we can learn about the internal passages that would be if they were superimposed over that five times Great Pyramid on the Giza Plateau. That's what we're doing here. So there is a superimposition, again, not over the Great Pyramid, but over the five times Great Pyramid that appears on the soil of Giza. Now there is the new second grand gallery. And it's right where, the, and, and so that that's the holy circle, that red dot, and it's touching right where this throat chakra chamber is, this, this new chamber that's been discovered up above the current Grand Gallery in the Great Pyramid. Okay, so the, from the new entrance they found that was announced last March, right straight to the Holy Shaft, though. So the Holy Shaft is this, in, in this incredible spot. Once you do this layout, Da Vinci must have been aware of this. That's what we're doing. We're taking his clue and seeing where it leads. It's interesting that the Sphinx is at the biceps. Okay, that's your, where your strength is. The Sphinx is over there. And and so here we go. There are the place where the, the three stars are supposed to go. So what I did is I took the Orion star map and I added a large dot over each one of the major pyramids. So I, then I made a group out of that so I could superimpose it over the belt stars we just saw, those ones right there. So let's do that. Here's the Vitruvian man, and that's the way the Great Pyramid is laid out over him. All right, so here are those stars. That is the way they come out over the Vitruvian Man on the Giza Plateau there. Okay, so there they are. All right, so this is Orion. You know, you can see those are where the stars are. Right there, now sometimes Orion's shown with a shield, sometimes he's shown with a, with a bow and arrow. Okay, so there's Orion. So this is, again, we're using the, the superimposition that we got from Da Vinci. That's where the club is right there. So the club's in the upper part of the, of the pyramid there. Now, what are these two red dots? These were right next to the constellation Orion. That's the tip of the horn of the charging bull Taurus, raging against uh, Orion. Orion is fighting this charging bull. This represents the woke uh, uh, craziness of governments persecuting the righteous. Okay, that's one of the one of the meanings here of Taurus. And so uh, the other star right there is Aldebaran, the most major star in Taurus. It's the brightest star. And so you've got these two stars outside the pyramid fighting against Orion. Orion's fighting against them. And look at this ancient card from the tarot deck. Card 16, the Thunderstruck Tower. You have these two enemies being thrown off the pyramid by this bolt of lightning that's hitting the top. So you've got this bolt of lightning, this club striking, and there's two enemies on the outside. And Orion is the one doing this. He's defeating these enemies. The beast and the false prophet, if you will, if you're into the book of Revelation. Okay, so again, right there, that's where the that's where the, the holy shaft is, and that's where 
uh, Robert Grant uh, was shown in a download and a vision that there's a granite throne. There's a granite throne there, which implies to me that, uh, you know, there's a power making these decisions about when this judgment will come. Okay, here's the bow and arrow. Just picture uh, Orion pulling the, that string with his left hand. It goes right into Aldebaran, the bright star. And then if you uh, put it at this angle here, which would be in the, the next chamber above the, grand, the, the new Grand Gallery, the throat chakra chamber, that's striking the tip of the horn, the charging power of the enemy. So what we have pictured here, what da Vinci led us to through these three belt stars that are on the Vitruvian Man, he's reminding us that this story of Orion in the sky is going to happen. This is a real prophecy. Okay, so there's the shield. There's the throne. That, those, that club is connected to the throne, saying to me that there is a righteous decision about when the calamity pictured here will come. Stay tuned.